Hey everybody, uh, Mike here just to say uh, thanks for watching on Thanksgiving. I know you're probably busy eating your turkey and your stuffing and your what have you for, for Thanksgiving, but I wanted to thank you for tuning in, especially for this episode. Um, as you enjoy the holiday with your family, and, and I really hope you and yours have a happy Thanksgiving. Just wanted to pop in and say that before this episode. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What the Fuck. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgeon. What the fuck, indeed. Don't be a fucking miseron. And Jason Amherst. What the fuck? What the quack? Oh, we know. Don't don't do that. Don't quack. Last time we had, last time we had ducks quack and Mike got mad. No, I didn't. Yeah, because you remember? I didn't get mad. I got even. <laughs> you got even while I got up. Fair. Well, that guy's dead. <clears throat> he dead. I say you he dead. The colonel. So we're playing Quake 2 again, as you can see. Hopefully I can figure out where to go. This last time I got a little stuck and then we ended up playing What the Dub. It was a great little uh, diversion. It was. A little diversion. Which we'll be playing it again soon in an upcoming uh, session. Uh, actually, we might be playing both it and Jackbox Survey Scramble. Because I forgot that came out this week. I would like to play that. Yeah, we will probably do that. Because, uh... Yeah, it's out. It's only ten bucks, which is very nice. Wow. 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 My rapping Owen Wilson tape. It always makes the trip go faster. Wow! 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 did say wow well, well, uh, Black heart points. I mean, there's literally a sma there's literally a smash cut compilation of every movie where he said wow. So. There's also a uh, smash Eric cut compilation of every time uh, Keanu said whoa. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I'm gonna have to look that. I am pretty sure there's one. I've, I I saw it like a while ago. So yeah, it's still, uh, again, it's still it's plenty another one of those. This. Like he did say, "Whoa, well, a lot." Whoa. Whoa. Dude. Yeah, I think, like, the only low score given to the new Mario Party game was from, like, Eurogamer, who historically has given it low scores, just, like, as a franchise overall. It's like, Eurogamer just hates Mario Party. They don't like fun. Wait, what does that have to do with Keanu Reeves? Uh, I don't know. I don't either. Oh, oh, there's a new Mario Party out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, oh, oh, I was about to have a stimulating conversation with him about uh, third world imperialism, but never mind. <laughs> oh, so this is what I was supposed to do. Return to hangar. All right. That means I should be able to compass. I'm playing on a controller this time rather than my keyboard, just so everybody knows. <laughs> so I'm, ah. uh, I'm figuring out some of the things, but so far, not so bad. A, all right. A. Kill me now. All the people on this level complaining. A lot of nihilists on this level. 
Oh, Jesus. What? Who are you? Oh, never mind. You're dead now. Yep. <laughs> Back to the hangar. Let's go, motherfucker. All right, now what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Go fuck yourself and go fuck yourself. Thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just reminding me that uh, next time it's on sale, so uh, might have to uh, chat with my cohort, the monkey, about uh, gifting uh, Star Wars Dark Forces remastered on uh, Steam. Just because, uh, I mean, I, I. I, I, I switch, but I'm awful at these games. I mean, I feel I feel like you won't have you probably won't have to talk to him about it because he's he gifted me what the dub. I don't think you prompted would you, him to do that. Don't so. you pay Congo in bananas? I I, I pay him in uh, I, I pay him in uh, various things, including uh, he pays him in V bucks. His, his... <laughs> you don't touch Fortnite with a ten foot pole. <laughs> you kidding me? I'm just imagining. I'm just imagining Jace giving uh, Congo like a bit wallet, like here, crypto. It's for you. <laughs> hey, I'm rich, and now I'm poor again. Pretty much. <laughs> My name is Rich, yeah. but I'm poor. <laughs> just like <laughs> I'm rich, Paris. Remember. Just like you, Boogie. Remember? Oof. <laughs> Big oof. He made like he made videos two weeks apart where it's like, I'm rich, I have crypto. Oh, I lost everything. It was a joke. It was a character. Kind of moronic. Who just joined us? I did. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Yeah. All you at home got to hear these spooky Discord noises because apparently we're, we're recording this around Halloween. It's the 24th of October, so that's why there's spooky Discord noises. I know this I is uh, you, 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 uh, you may or may not have, but the it, it you they heard it on the recording. That's all that matters. All and, you people uh, better tell me what it sounds like. It was it's just the regular noise, but spookier. It's like doo 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 doo. It's like Discord uh, blades are a theremin. Yes. Basically. I how, much, did some how much is a theremin? Uh, I wonder. That's a good question. I don't know. Theremins are kind of cool, though. They are cool. That's why I'm like, hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to uh, know. You, you, you get to play, you get in the your room. pen talk, the mind taker. There's pen literally talk. a website called... Theremin. Apparently, stick with the kid. Apparently, theremins are a lot cheaper than I thought. Unless this is yeah. not the yet. Eric Blackheart points. Well, I mean, it depends on like you know the complexity of the theremin. Like they they well, can get pretty pricey depending on like you know the settings and everything. And what you can plug them into. A true, a true. Come back. Because uh, Moog makes them. No, come back. Moog used to make good, very, so good uh, synthesizers. Ah, oh, damn it. Wow. Yep. Actually, whatever you just said was probably very thought provoking. Seven, please, sir. It's the greatest day. 
Okay, can you put the drawing to put on like my headphones, please? I'm just with my headphones. Okay, so I'm gonna tell the people at home what it sounded like Ashley said, at least to me. Okay. I got a microphone in my pussy. I want to come on it. And there we go. <laughs> 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 what in the actual fuck? I, I'm sorry, but the, that's what my ears heard. I'm not speaking Japanese, okay? That's I what my it. fears heard. I didn't say you were speaking Japanese, you know nut. I didn't say Japanese, I said share, because it sounded like you were doing a shitty impression of share. Oh, baby, I want to come on the microphone in my pussy. Oh. 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 If, if I can turn back time. If I can I find my hole. I wouldn't have fucked Sonny Bono. Oh. Well, all right. Well, that uh, that would have probably, that would probably changed history a lot. Their TV show probably wouldn't have happened. All, all, I, all I can think of is the most recent Family Guy Halloween special thing that was on Hulu where, like, Stewie dresses up as Cher and wants Brian to dress up as uh, Sonny Bono. And uh, he gets him a fake mustache, but the fake mustache is actually a real mustache. And it's actually Tom Tucker's mustache that he stole off of him. Tom Tucker like wakes up in a freaking ice bath <laughs> with the freaking like stitch marks on his face and everything. Jesus. Okay, is this better? Is this better? Because I've got a microphone plugged in. Okay. Yes. Yes. A million times better. Okay. Uh, well, I bought I bought this microphone that I was going to use for a, a oh, 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 kind of like oh. a special short. A podcast that I was going to do for uh, Sportswire Radio, which now I don't want to fucking do it anymore, but the microphone will be handy. So, got two okay. turntables and a microphone. That's where it's where at. It's, at. It's, even, it's got a little pop filter, too. If I feel so nice. professional. Well, you know, Ashley, that's, that's actually very good because sometimes when you want to get high, and you want to get out all those impurities, you got to use a pot filter. That was <clears throat> shit. Mm hmm. Just waiting for, waiting for somebody to say something. Ah, uh, yeah, pot filter. Got it. <clears throat> Marijuana. Pot filter. Ah. Marijuana. Is that what you wanted, Dane? You wanted yes. performing monkeys to do that? Listen, I don't ask for much. All I asked for was for somebody to be like, Dane, I said pop filter, you silly goose. Uh, Dane, silly I goose. said pop filter, you silly goose. You know what? Don't don't patronize me, you fat fuck. <laughs> don't patronize me, you pate fuck. <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to reorganize because I'm actually in the old office. Might as well put this old office to, like, good youth and shit. Old orifice. Well, the, it's the office that I used to work from home at. And I figure, uh, it, yeah, I've got my PlayStation 4 in here and my Xbox One. Why don't I just do my writing in here? That way I don't have to run the risk of, like, getting distracted. And, oh, I guess I could do MVP Live here. Instead of, you know, laying in my you bed. Could, like you, a, you could do uh, MBG Live if that's a thing that we did anymore. <laughs> um, actually, we do Backseat oh, Gamer. <laughs> yes, it's Backseat Gamer. I'm surprised it's the same. But it doesn't taste too bad. It tastes good. It's so good. Sounds like you said Backseat Gagouche, which Back, I would have said Backseat Gagouche? Okay. That's my favorite. That's my favorite show. Backseat Gagouche. 
back seat gamer. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's the force of habit. I mean, if she live hasn't been around for almost five years now, it shouldn't be forced to have it anymore at this point. Oh, okay. Let's go play Russian letter, or whatever. Retro letter, whatever. Russian whatever re retro Russians. Russian attack. Hello, I am. The... What the hell is this? Oh man. Jay Spurt from Sesame Street is turned on. What? You know. Bert from Sesame Street is turned on. Is Ernie naked in front of him or something? No, you foolish fool. You foolish fool who fools foolishly? Foolishly? Because Jace posted a picture of a, of a pigeon in a bowl of wool. Uh, Oh, it's 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 a wop. <laughs> some, some wet ass pigeon. That's that's right. I I love what this uh, guy I uh, I know on Facebook. He's uh he's a co-editor for uh, Stephanie Sterling's videos. Uh, uh, Z-Manzilla. Uh, what he what he said about uh, Danger Zone. He said, uh, I, I asked Spotify for a playlist of 70s rock, and the first song it picked was Danger Zone, the oral equivalent of a pink and gray speedboat full of cocaine, thin ties, and Aquanet. <clears throat> and to be clear, Danger Zone kicks ass. It's the song you play while mixing Ecto Cooler and Tab together into a cure for Pac-Man fever. It's the soundtrack to every power fantasy that gave us Red Dawn and Iron Eagle, but it's not 70s rock. Technology, you done goof. Yeah, no, t uh, Danger Zone is from the 80s. <laughs> so Yeah. I, it, it, it is rock. I will give you that it is rock, but it's not 80s. <laughs> um, like Spotify. Spotify, I think it's go home because of long and I, would like to, I would like to point out for the record that Iron Eagle fucking sucked. Fair. Yeah. I will, but, I mean, I will also say that... Right. I will also say that uh, Danger Zone is probably the hardest Kenny Loggins song uh, there is. Yes. Um, yes. I will agree me? with that. You've never heard him sing House on Pooh Corner anymore. Fucking did you yeah, right? I get my lighter out and bang my head to house on Pooh Corner. Let me tell you something. If you watch the video, he he starts he starts breaking his tumuku. Jesus. Seriously, I love the description. A pink and gray speedboat full of cocaine, thin ties, and aquanet. It's a, it's an accurate it's an apt description, I will give you that. Uh, the song you play while mixing Ecto Cooler and Tab into a cure for Pac-Man fever. Like, yeah, all of that is accurate. Hmm. Who's that, uh... Who's that guy that you showed me that does all the wacky pizzas? Oh! Uh, Cook Show Trevor. He should do a, a Ecto Cooler and Tab pizza. See what that tastes like. <laughs> Ugh. No! Jesus. No. It's going to taste like 1986. I don't know. I, I feel like more 1987. Uh, fair. A tab, a tab pizza would taste kind of like the Jack Lee sets infused with Dr. Pepper. Just listen, no. Listen, I, I'm just going to say this for the record. I really like tab. <laughs> it's my favorite diet don't soda. I love tab. Don't get me wrong. I love me some tab. I've got nothing against Tab, but there are certain things you shouldn't, like, mix, like, a soda, pizza, no. What if it's uh, those soda gummy bears? No. Why are you saying it's so kind I'd of better. I'd rather no. that than pineapple, I'll tell you that. They are the gummy bears. There's plenty burn. of things... There's plenty of things that I would want on a pizza instead of, like, pineapple. But a, a soda slurry of some type? 
No. No. Like, what combination I would rather have on a pizza? I would rather have, like, a chicken no. and a bell peppers or a margarita pizza. Uh, the one that uh, has the big doll the margarita. Oh, oh, chicken and bitch you're, pizza. you're reminding me of the video where he made a margarita pizza, but instead of a margarita pizza, he made a margarita pizza. But that's just alcoholism. Uh, I mean, it's a little too early for a drink, but I guess it's five o'clock somewhere. Well, it's actually late enough in the evening. I could probably make myself a Negroni. So, yeah, he, 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 he does, he does a pizza and he covers it in, uh, he does a pizza, sweet and sour mix, pizza shit. Oh, <laughs> sweet and sour mix, tequila, and he salts the crust. And then, yeah, he takes a bite out of it. <laughs> Have that pizza chef buy it. <laughs> you say pizza chef or pizza shit? Actually, it probably works either way, I'll be honest. Yeah, the, the running joke is that uh, the Mafia Don has an incompetent pizza chef. And uh, later on, there's another one where he goes to a Chinese restaurant. And uh, he's like, I'll have the poo poo platter. And he's like, huh, poo poo platter. Uh, I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh, and so he just takes a bunch of appetizers, plops it down on a pizza crust, smothers it in in uh, sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what the hell is wrong with this guy? I mean, sweet a lot of things are wrong with this guy. All over my pussy. I know, Mike. I know. Let's drive around. Drive around. <laughs> Quick, she <laughs> wants it her way. <laughs> He's coming back to Indianapolis. Why on earth would we ever go back to Indianapolis? I'm just kidding. Um. Well, there's, there's concerts there. there. That's fair. The only thing we are still there going. Is the I am still looking forward to that. By the way, the uh, perfect circuit, uh, perfect circle, plus for concert. In, in May. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's, there's, there's a couple of things coming up that I'm going to, and that concert at Ruoff is one of them. I have an airstrike marker. But, uh, as of this recording, um, the, uh, it hasn't happened yet, but pretty soon there's going to be the Mike Birbiglia tour, and then Eddie Izzard is doing the first 35 years of their material. Um, I think Otsuko is coming. She's like this really popular Asian comic. Like, really popular. Like, I think her show is sold out. And of course... The one comic that sex Ashley party. would probably like sex parties. The one, the one comic that Ashley would probably lick if she could. Right, Armisen. Oh, he already came. Excuse me. As you licked him, that's cool. Look, Fred Armisen already did a show in in April. I don't know when he's coming back. He he tends to stay really busy. And he tends to not tour all across the U.S. Like, he just takes a chunk of the U.S., does 10 shows, disappears. Takes another chunk of the U.S., does 10 shows, maybe goes overseas, plays Uncle Fester, and then just spends the rest of his time in California playing punk rock covers and probably being inspirations for Ricky Lindholm. Um, so, yeah, there's that. 
I'm so sorry, Ashley. I must have just lost consciousness for a moment. Well, it's you have to excuse me. My emotional battery is kind of like trying to 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 charge. I'm not going to go into any details, but let's just say I'm probably not going to want to step near a wrestling ring for a real fucking long time. You and me both. Okay. We're not going to talk about it on air. We'll be more than happy to talk about it off air. But yeah, Mike and I have been kind of like fed the fuck up. Anyway, uh, poop, poop, vagina fart. Uh, trying to lighten the mood here. Kill the, kill the fucking alien with your period cannon. Did you say a period cannon? Ew. Yeah. I don't know what guns you have. I'm not into Quake, but it's, I'm trying to be a, a supportive friend. It's a, it's a rail gun? It's, it's, I don't see you railing anything with that. Please believe, man. It's like I'm used to standard handguns and missile launchers, and this thing looks like. I. I blam, blam, blam. 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 There is something going on with this fucking railgun that you speak of. Fucking. Like, fucking. I'm into the Dooms, I'm into the Duke Nukems, and I know Quake is within the same realm of, of, of vulnerability. It just, it's, I, you kind of have to be my Sherpa of the Mountain of Quake. Hey, hey Dane. Yes. The, these are hard times, daddy, and hard times mean you gotta be a belt. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna go become a belt now. That's right. You see, let me tell you something, Daddy. For as long as Cody lives, I'm gonna be around his 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 shoulder, or 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 near his his genitalia, depending upon where he puts the belt. I think Dusty Rhodes could be my belt. I, well, I oh, let me tell, I'm not you, gonna let me tell you something, baby. You don't see Ric Flair being a belt. All you see is Ric Flair belted back drinks because he's like 80 years old and he still drinks like a like a fish. And, and apparently hitting on young people and, and uh hurting and going, young to, going to restaurants and making a jackass of himself. Damn it. No, getting this girl said that Ric Flair hit on her sister and gave her his number. You know what the sister did? He immediately got uh, the clap. She uh, put the number <laughs> in a 4chan forum. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. I just imagine. Oh, that's, a fate, that's a fate worse than death. <laughs> I, why am I getting calls? From people who want to gay encounter with me. Why? Why? What? Am I getting called? Oh, oh my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mike does the really good old Ric Flair voice. Why am I getting phone calls from people who want to take me down under? Woo! Why am I getting calls from someone calling themselves Pizza Pussy 3000? That's just Dave. Why? <laughs> Why do people insist That's on really. calling me and asking if my refrigerator is running? Woo! I don't even know what a refrigerator is. I keep all of my stuff in an ice box in my garage. I, 
I put all my beer in the sash box. It's true. Uh. Uh, let me tell you something. I am 75 years old. But I still drink like a college student. And that is fucking pathetic. So when, when he says woo, those are the involuntary spasms of his liver. I, I believe Coming it. Coming out of his mouth. I believe it. I I suspect it's him having mini strokes. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> Why am I smelling all of it? Like all of a sudden, that was that was an entire commercial he did for Cumberland Farms. Yeah, he was just having a stroke for the whole thing. He was supposed to say actual words, but he just stroked through it. And they were like, eh. He just stroked through it. It's whatever. He just stroked through it with woo. Uh, we, don't, we don't have to do another take, do we? No, we can't, we can't afford it. We'll just subtitle it. Ah, uh, listen. I thought there were cucumbers at Cumberland Farm. Leading me to believe that the Undertaker wouldn't want to be here. But as a ter- I was actually wrong. It wasn't cucumbers he doesn't like. It's Kamala Harris. My mistake. You you can see my confusion. You see, I thought he just didn't like Kamala, the wrestler. I was about to say, it's kind of fucked Listen, up. Listen, it's not my fault. I saw Kamala Harris put her shirt in her mouth and start slapping on her belly. <laughs> All this time, I thought that Joe Biden was Harvey Whippleman since Harvey Whippleman <laughs> was Kamala's man. Oh, I found a secret. Oh, a secret passage. Interesting. Yeah, dude. Not a secret area. A secret passage. That's different. Oh. I just got a phone call from a Nigeria prince. If I give him five thousand dollars, he's gonna give me a thousand bajillion dollars in return. I am Nigerian. Pr- like I am Nigerian prince. How could you just leave me standing out in a world that's so cold? I, I Maybe thought the I'm Nigerian just prince was demanding. offering you coffee. Maybe I'm just like my father, too bold. Listen, <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> Did I fucking actually break you? Yay! <laughs> well, like I said, I thought the Nigerian prince was just offering coffee. Listen. The only, the only Nigerian prince that I know is Prince Nana. Oh, man. If you will, this, this friend of you and I engaged in a kiss. But we can't <laughs> do that because of Ebola. <laughs> That's right. Ebola, don't kiss your friends. You must have some pussy control. Right. Somehow that song wouldn't have the same boom feel if it was sung by a Nigerian. Yeah, okay. agreed. You gotta have some pussy control. <sighs> we have fun here. We do. I do like that that song is uh, referenced in uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
Which one? Pussy control? Mm. Yeah. There's a uh, off-brand version of the song that's played in uh, part five for the okay. uh, torture dance scene. I was going to say, it can't be called pushy control in the actual anime. Right. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a song that sounds vaguely adjacent to it. It's implied to be pussy control, but it's not actually the song. I'm very uh, intrigued. Now. Yeah, it's it's simply referred to as the torture dance song. Okay. Keep up, keep up, work, uh uh. That means I love you. <laughs> and to think that song came about in the Jetsons literally because George Jetson didn't want some rock star to fuck Judy. Yeah. Yep. I th I think if I was Judy and I heard my dad sing that song, I'd be like, you know, I'm moving out. <laughs> well, for, for those of you who for those of you who are not Jetsons connoisseurs, if I remember correctly, the episode in question had to do with some kind of a songwriting contest where the winner would get to go on a date with this. Elvis Presley adjacent guy and Judy was trying to win and George was like not my little girl so he took um, a piece of paper that Elroy was playing some kind of game with his friends and e pop or ah ah was the secret code so he was just like oh, 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 I'm gonna send this in and sabotage Judy and then it's like, whoops, that song wound up being the winner. This has been Dane Badly Explains Jetsons Episodes. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> You're welcome. I, uh, I shared with you the torture dance, in case you're curious. I'm super curious. Like everything in JoJo, it is vaguely homoerotic uh, and totally an acid trip. <laughs> what? The but why is this? But when you hear the song, you'll be like, "That does vaguely sound like Prince." <laughs> I have several questions. For one, why is there a severed head? Why not? Uh, because on the because of stand powers. Okay. Number two, who is this half naked gay Spider Man? It's a uh, half naked gay Spider Man. That's his name. <laughs> half naked gay Spider Man. Um, half gay naked gay Spider Man does whatever half naked gay Spider Man what? can. Well, well, can well, he swing? Well, no, he from a web. No, he way. can't. He is gay. Watch out! It's half naked gay Spider Man. It, also, also, why do all of these characters have big, full DSLs? Because that's Araki's art style. Okay. Okay. I think, I, I think that answers all my questions. Yeah, he he draws he draws everything vaguely homoerotic. He went from drawing insanely macho men who like were freaking super muscular to drawing everything extremely homoerotic now. I, I, seriously, did they did they kill somebody and cut their head off or something? No, again, like this has to do with stand powers because the guy with the bowl cut can like use his power to make zippers appear anywhere 
and he like literally unzipped the guy's head. So the guy is alive, and his head's been removed from his body, but he's alive. Oh, I know what Jason's talking about. He's talking about Golden Wind, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, and the Gay Italians. The, 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 yep. <laughs> The gay Did you just say the gay Taliban? Yes, the gay Italians. Gay, gay Italians. Because everything in JoJo is fabulous. We must make this episode a beautiful one. Look, I'm sorry. The fan base gave them that nickname of the gay Italians. Oh, oh, it, yeah. It, 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 Tell, tell them about the torture dance. Tell them about the torture dance. That, that no, I just shared the video. Dane just watched it. The the, oh, the song that is literally off brand pussy control. God did man need pussy. It was So we we couldn't get we couldn't get the right to the song, so we just made our own version. <laughs> oh, Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, shit. The compass is not available right now. That's uh, not good. Uh, this must be a boss, uh, boss level. So I tried in the cross arena. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That looks like a boss. I think it is. He, he looked very angry. It looked like it had a canopy. Bullet sponge. That looks like a very. I've got quad damages out the wazoo. This thing's not gonna. That looks like a very. That looks like a very messed up N two o nine. It looked like an N two o nine with of it. You killed it and something jumped out of it. And, and now I, it's dead. And then I killed that. You bisected it. Very dramatic. I love how the light staggered around. Mm. Oh, the Scotty the pod. Oh, the world is shaking. You gotta get out of here, dude. I'm, I'm getting. So I tried a Negroni. Why, why, why are people filled with so much hatred? Because you touch yourself at night. Well, they need to mind their fucking business. But yeah, a Negroni. I mean... it, tastes, it tastes like cough medicine. I tried to put a little bit of ginger ale to cut it. And it just made it worse. Oh shit! I think so I, you know, I think it's because of Campari. I think I beat the main campaign. It's the Campari. Because the Campari is bitter. Speaking Campari. of Pizza. things that I learned, I learned something today. What's up? What'd you learn? I learned how to. I learned how to say the goggles. They do nothing in Japanese. Oh, please, <laughs> please regale us. Um. Uh, God damn it! I, I'm just I'm not good at this. So Google so Google it. Jace, can you help me out? Here? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Who's the one who showed it to me? Animo yakuni yakuni tatanai. Yeah, that's it. So we beat the yeah, main campaign. Because, uh, all because somebody took the great wave of Hokusai and repainted it neon green. We're doing. We're gonna go ahead so and skip. That it was, uh, we're skipping forward to Quake so Two Sixty Four first. So that uh, the great wave of Hokusai was actually the uh, toxic waste going after uh, Rainier Wolf Castle. <laughs> Which you can buy a canvas print of. And it's like sixty something dollars, and I was like, "That's nice, but not sixty something dollars nice." So go, Grozu. 
I like how Zagugruzu really does sound like the goggles. I I added the za to it because otherwise it would have been Goguru. And I was like, ah, no, 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 no. It needs za. It needs da. It needs, da the, for the it needs that gravity. It needs, it needs da for the added humor. Otherwise, it would have been just Goguru. And I was like, no, no. I took a little creative license on the translation. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my. It had red in here. You lying little shit. You, you sloot. So congratulations, Mike. You won the game. Yay. You are now floating towards heaven. Damn it. Oh now now it's Quake two sixty four. It is. This is this is the yeah, this is the N sixty four game, which was different <clears> from <throat> uh the original game. Quake two PC. Yeah. And s my mods aren't working for this, my trainer that is. Oh my. Yeah. Okay, well I guess we're beating this legit. <laughs> it's fine, I've played oh, I have play. played the shit out of this game before, so Ooh, good boy. Press button wow, to I'm starting to feel that. I'm starting to feel that Negroni, and I only took two sips. Hey, one more sips. Well, I was trying to give it a shot, and my mom tried a little bit of it, and she spit it right the fuck out. But I swallowed. And I'm just, I, I've had a myriad uh, of we, emotions. Are we not doing phrasing? <laughs> uh, phrasing? I'm it's talking about a drink, not, not beef bayonet tears. Did you say beef uh, bayonet tears? Yes. What the fuck? Well, there's the episode title right there. Beef bayonet Beef tears. Bayonet tears. Beef bayonet tears for fears. Oh, thank God, there's still a compass. Compass works for this game too. That's nice. That's I definitely that definitely was, on the wasn't in the original game. I love how there's arrows on the ground telling you where to go. Yeah, that's the compass. Whenever I activate it, it does that. Yeah. Oh, that's Moving along the central complex gives me a complex. Hey, thanks for tripping in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Still a piece of garbage. What are you waiting for? You what dumb, you, stupid fuck. What are you waiting for, you dumb, stupid fuck? Okay. That's the way I want to live my life, and I know that everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I have so, one uh... I've got one hand in my pocket and the other one's flicking the bean. Yes, Chase. Uh, okay. Honey. The uh, the developers of AEW Fight Forever are working on a new game. Okay. Yep, uh, Ukes is working on a new game, but it's not a wrestling game. It is a 3D beat-em-up. Oh. Um, Double Dragon Revive. Oh, yes, um, yeah. Well, isn't there some kind of Double Dragon collection coming out on the Switch sometime soon? Uh, well, there, uh, there's already a new Double Dragon game that's out, uh, Double Dragon Gaiden. Um, there was a Double Dragon collection not too long ago. Um, there have been a few of them, because there's a Double Dragon Kunio Kun collection. I've got that one already. Um, That's just the River City Ransom games, isn't it? 
Uh, Kunika? yeah, basically. Yeah. Yep. Uh, because Double Dragon spun off from it. Right. Rabbit City, bitch. Uh, Rabbit City, bitch. Yeah, the... And, of course, uh, River City Girls, those games are freaking fun as hell. It's, uh... Ooh, my girls! With, uh... River City, uh, River City Girls 2 actually added uh, playable Billy and Jimmy Lee to it. Interesting. Yep. Who are played by the Game Grumps. Oh. Wait. Aaron and Danny are playing Jimmy and Bimmy? Yep. They, they were their voices uh, as the shopkeepers in the first River City uh, Girls game. But they are playable in River City Girls too. Well, that is. I guess I should Wait. leave him alone. I wouldn't be so alone if I had company. Well, look at this, Jesus! Well, look at this. Anyways, how are those game grump fuckers doing? I haven't seen them in ages. Well, I don't know. I, I I haven't had a chance to talk to them. <laughs> well, you you should talk to them and see how they're doing, buddy. All right, hang on. Let me let me call let me call Aaron right now. Hey, yo, I mean, what's up? Hey, Aaron, it's Dane from. Who the uh, fuck is this? Why do you have my number? <laughs> Well, I don't know, because remember that time when I went to see you guys in concert and you were so really drunk and you were like, dude, you run that joke into the fucking ground. I don't remember that. Well, you probably wouldn't because you were, because he was drunk off his tits. So. Oh, oh. So, so Honey gave you drunk uh, inspiration. Does, does this not know this story? heard that you told it to Danny and Danny liked it, but I didn't know it was Aaron, so would you kindly regale us? Okay, Aaron? so when I went to see the Game Grumps do their concert, um, Danny and Aaron were going through the crowd briefly at one point, just saying hello to everybody. And Aaron was drunk off his fucking ass. So... I said to Dan, Danny Avadan, well, the you know, with that whole, they stick the hand, they stick the hand in the anus. We, you know, my friends and I, we do some uh, YouTube stuff and we do that joke all the time. So Danny's like, oh yeah, you know, that's, that's really cool, man. You know, and so Aaron comes over, he's like, you do that joke? Hey, come here. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Dane. So he pulls, he puts his hand around my shoulder and he pulls me in close. Listen to me. Fucking listen to me. I want to make love to you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he goes, you see that joke? You fucking run that joke into the ground. Okay? You do that joke as many times as you want. Do it till the fucking cows come home. You got it? And like, oh, oh, okay, Aaron. <laughs> oh, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. 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 <laughs> I'm a little scared right now. I think I need an adult. <laughs> well, got... probably better that he be drunk off his tits instead of like on a cocaine high because you don't know what you're getting into. I don't think Aaron does. Because I got one hand in my pocket and the other one is licking my ears. I got one hand in my pocket and the other one sniffing booger sugar off a nail. Stop shooting my friend, asshole. Stop shooting my friend's asshole. And that's Stop you. shooting my asshole, friend! I... I am very... Friend my sure. asshole. Because I just found out... That Back to the Future on Broadway is closing in January. What's, Wait, what's, what's closing? closing? Back to the Future, the musical. Uh, and I was extremely surprised because it seemed like that show was consistently getting sellouts, but apparently 
the numbers were not good enough to for them to continue going on. So, Aww. like, oh man, what the hell? That's unfortunate. Yeah, it is unfortunate, isn't it? Well, I never would have guessed this in a million years. What? Karrion Cross apparently does a spot-on impression of Jesse Ventura. You didn't know that? Yeah, I've, shared the, I've shared the video in here. You played that clip here before. Yeah. But don't do it. He, he recently was me. interviewed about you it. Don't tell me you weren't there, Chris. I was in the Gulf of Tonkin doing reps. Don't tell me. I'm, I'm a frogman and so are you, Chris. <laughs> And it's hey. funny because apparently, from what I understand, uh, Jesse Ventura is going to be at the Saturday Night's Main Event thing they're doing in December. Huh. Here, listen. Oh. There was a lot of alien kisses going on that day. You want, you want you want to explain that to me, Christopher? <laughs> Shit. Damn it. Oh Shit. god damn it. Did you shit yourself? No, but this is really freaking upsetting news to hear about. What? Fuck. Uh, SA allegations against uh, Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Oh, no. What do you do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, which as a result have cut the third and final season of Good Omens short. It's literally yeah. one 90 minute episode. Yeah. What, so what are what are the accusations? Uh, sexual assault. Oh. He, he, a lot of stuff without consent. Yeah. God damn it, he was a good author. Yeah. This is bullshit. People need to, I mean, hopefully, hopefully he can prove his innocence. But if there's factual evidence of him doing no no things to people, then God there seems it. to be there seems to be a lot of receipts <laughs> with it, unfortunately. Neil Neil, you fucking douche. Neil, god damn it. Yep. Yep, yep. Why can't people just learn no means no? Accept the rejection. Accept it. No means no. And you know who the who Amanda Palmer. People were like so shocked, like, oh my gosh, why did Neil Gaiman and Amanda Palmer separate? They seemed like they were so happy with each other. Um starting to starting to see why now. Yeah. Bunch of, that's a bunch of boo boo right there. I was gonna try to, I was gonna try to talk my mom into watching Good Omens with me. Not anymore. I figured, you know, yeah, uh, well, yeah. It's like the first season was good, and it's like, uh, I feel dirty watching you. It's. it's it's like fucking Lost Profits all over again. I can't listen to Five as the Four Letter Word without feeling dirty. Yeah, I know. It, it kind of upsets me because I really fucking liked American Gods. That was a good book. I didn't think I feel. I had good omens. I was big on Sandman and all that. I was big on yeah, Sandman. Yeah, Sandman was fucking good too. Yeah. 
but it's like I got rid of my collection. I'm like, nope, sorry, feel too dirty. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joan, Jason Amherst, and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.